Students who take honors courses can simultaneously use courses to meet honors, general education, and major requirements as appropriate. For all three honors pathways, there is an honors credit requirement. However, the honors college does offer different ways for honors students to earn honors credit. Firstly, honors students can enroll in honors-only sections of many general education courses. Each fall and winter term, the Honors College offers approximately 35 to 40 honors sections across the different general education categories. When students join the Honors College, an honors major is applied to their record to provide them automatic admission to courses designated honors. Enrollment in honors courses is restricted to 25 or fewer students. Occasionally, honors students may also enroll in honors courses that meet their major or minor requirements. Honors courses within a student's major or minor typically allow for greater engagement with course material, peers, and faculty. Honors students may also take upper division honors courses through an honors contract with a faculty member. This agreement between student and faculty member outlines projects or other coursework deemed appropriate for earning honors credit. Lastly, honors students have the opportunity to complete an independent study. Independent studies and directed reading courses allow students to explore topics not covered in regularly scheduled courses and can be taken for one, two, or three credit hours. Independent studies are typically arranged through an academic department, but students who cannot set one up through an academic department may ask the honors college if they can sign up for an honors independent study course. Instructor and departmental permission are typically necessary for registration for independent study courses. You might be wondering, what is an honors contract? Honors contracts are an opportunity for students to earn honors credit for a regular non-honors undergraduate course. To earn the honors designation, the student typically performs some additional challenging classwork designed to enrich their experience in the course. The honors contract project may be a presentation, lab experiment, creative project, observation, a special set of readings, a series of discussions with the instructor, or a research paper. Anything that will enable students to examine an aspect of the course in a greater depth or with a greater level of reflection. While the honors contract is arranged with the course instructor, the departmental honors advisor for the discipline or the department of the course and the honors college must also approve the contract. A completed honors contract form found on the honors college forms page must be submitted to the honors college office. The contract form can be found on and is submitted through the honors college website. The form requires a brief description of the honors contract project and will route to the faculty instructor, the departmental honors advisor, and the honors college for approval signatures. The student should discuss the honors pro contract project with the faculty member and the departmental honors advisor before completing the paperwork. The deadlines for completed contract paperwork to be submitted to the Honors College are as, as follows. Fall semester, October 15th. Winter semester, February 15th. Summer semester A, May 20th. Summer semester B, July 10th. Students must report community service to the Honors College using the community service form available on the forums page of the Honors College website unless they completed the service for the Honors College. Students who provide service directly to the Honors College will have that service automatically credited so they do not need to fill out the community service form. The following activities that you see on your screen now may count as Honors Community Service without pre-approval from the Honors College. Students who wish to earn Honors Community Service credit for any organization not listed above must obtain pre-approval from the Honors College. Students may request pre-approval using the pre-approval form available on the forums page of the Honors College website. Students should regularly report on their completion of honors experiences and community service hours using the reporting form on the forums page of the Honors College website. Star lecture papers should be submitted as a PDF attachment to the Honors College email address at emuhonors at emich.edu. All members of the Honors College are el eligible to live in the Honors Housing. Honors Housing is only open to residents enrolled in the Honors College. A variety of Honors College related activities are regularly held in the hall and students will have greater access to professors as well as Honors College staff. Each year the Honors College has a different theme and all of the star lectures, academic events, and Honors photo contests speak to different aspects of that particular theme. 
The annual theme is an engaging way to bring the honors community together and provide a platform for all of us all to consider different issues with an open mind each academic year. Don't just graduate with honors, graduate with style. Check out our website by typing EMU Honors College into the nearest search engine to learn more about upcoming honors social and academic events, honors scholarships, fellowships, and where to schedule an advice appointment with an honors advisor. Stay connected with us by checking out our weekly Honors College newsletter that is sent out at the beginning of every week during the fall and winter semesters. Both our social media accounts and our weekly newsletter contain important information about Honors College events, opportunities, and deadlines, and other campus-wide announcements that are especially relevant to Honors students at EMU. Students are strongly encouraged to read the weekly newsletter as it is the best source of information about all things Honors at EMU.